All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. It's the brother of Bar from the Camp Prophets in Babylon, Tampa, Florida. Double honors to the elders and apostles. Of the great millstone who do indeed teach and rule well, peace, and infinite salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad doing his work in truth and in sincerity. Nuclear weapons are a gift from the Most High, ready to be used on the West, claims Putin's mouthpiece. Nuclear weapons are a gift from God. All right, and this was on the Daily Express, you know, and you had um, a while back, this guy Putin had quoted uh, Zechariah, you know, their eyes shall melt away in their sockets, which Lord willing will grab that. You know, saying, you know, that really it's the Lord that's going to do this. And, you know, Putin is not wrong. You know, at the end of the day, um, the Lord is the one who's creating these nuclear weapons for judgment day. Okay. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. And he's going to send his only begotten son back, Yahweh Shai, to gather the elect, but also to destroy Mystery Babylon, the great America. By way of the nuclear missiles, man. We hear the rumors of wars, pestilence. You know, the Lord said he's coming back. He's coming back with fire. He's coming back to send fire on this earth. And he's going to do that by way of the ICBMs, the intercontinental ballistic missiles. You know, and the Lord really created these weapons for his pleasure. All right. Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai really created these nuclear weapons for his judgment, man. All right. Judgment day. All right, the day the earth stood still, so to say. All right, this is Isaiah 54 and 16. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. All right, so the Lord has created the waster to destroy, which the waster to destroy is the ICBMs. Right, it says, Behold, I have created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire. Like, you know, in the ancient world, or even now, you got a weapon smith. The weapon smith, what you do is you, you know, you would have to uh you know have a furnace, melt the melt the uh, iron down, mold it to create a weapon. All right, but the Lord is the one who created that smith, you know, the one that's actually molding the instrument of war the lord is the one who put it in their mind to create these weapons of mass destruction you got people that are saying oh well, you know when, when the lord comes back he's going to destroy it you know he's not going to need nukes no the lord is going to use nukes that's what he created these nukes by way of these scientists to ultimately uh send fire upon his place man all right you got uh two-thirds of all people that's going to be caught up in it you know, they're going to be caught up in that fire because they didn't take this thing seriously. You know, you got uh, the heathens. They ain't got no chance in hell. They're going to be destroyed, man. See, this is we're, we're, this is the wrath of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh man. I'm going to grab this real quick. And the Lord uh, has these ICBMs being stocked up for that day of judgment, which is going to be the day that America's hit with these ICBMs. All right, this is um Nahum 1 and 5. It says, The mountains quake at him, and the hills melt, and the earth is burned at his presence. Yea, the world and all that dwell therein. All right, because when the Lord comes back, he's coming back with that fire, man. All right, this is uh, Isaiah 34 and 3. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And how is how are they going to melt? By way of the ICBMs, man. All right, that's the final plague. The final plague is that lake of fire, which the lake of fire isn't some mystery, you know, uh, underground fire pit that you just burn for eternity. No, the lake of fire is going to be America. When it's set on fire, all right, it's actually going to be America's going to be that lake of fire, all right. Uh, 
let me see here this um the final plague Zechariah 14 and 12 it says and this shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. So this is the final plague that's going to take place concerning all the heathen nations, uh, starting with the so-called white man, you know, the Chinese, the Arabs, you know, the uh, Japanese, East Indians, all these damn heathens, the Africans, you know, this is going to be the plague that the Lord is going to send upon them. And then you got two thirds of our people that they're going to be destroyed as well. All right, it says, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. All right, so that's that's the plague, man. The tongue is going to consume away in their mouth, man. All right, and it's going to happen by way of that ICBM, the nuclear weapons, man. It says their eyes are going to consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Hey, Putin actually read this scripture before, man. You know, there was an article that came out a while ago where Putin actually read this and said that, you know, this is going to be the judgment that comes to America. And, that, and that's 100 percent true. All right. The Lord has these scientists making these ICBMs for that day of judgment. All right. And the nuclear destruction uh, is prophesied all throughout the scriptures, man. Right, let me grab this real quick. Um, Malachi 4 and 1 it says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And what is that day? The day of the Lord. All right, this day is fastly approaching. The day that Yahweh sends his only begotten son, Yahweh shy back. You know, that day is gonna, hey, the Lord is literally gonna set this place in an oven. By way of the, the nuclear weapons, man. You know, that's the final judgment. That's every day we get one day closer to that day where all these nations end up pressing them buttons and them nukes come flying, man. And if you haven't been doing what you're supposed to be doing as a servant of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, you're going to find your ass in that lake of fire, man. Wondering why everybody around, you know, brothers around you getting beamed up and you, you know, Stuck on the ground Feeling heavy Cause there's only one way out man There's only one way out Of this destruction And that's ultimately through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai You know faith and works But it says For behold the day cometh That shall burn as an oven And all the proud Yeah and all that do wickedly Shall be stubble And the day that cometh Shall burn them up Saith Yahweh of hosts That it shall leave them Neither root nor branch and that's what's coming to this place. That's the final judgment, which is that lake of fire, man. Now let's go to Jeremiah 50. Jeremiah 50 and verse 1, it says, The word of Yahweh spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. All right. And Jeremiah, he actually got a vision and seeing the destruction of America. All right, this Babylon is not talking about ancient Babylon. This is talking about modern Babylon or, or mystery Babylon the Great, which is America. Okay, America is prophesied in the scriptures and it's prophesied that America will be hit with the ICBMs. All right, it says, declare you among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken, Bel is confounded, Muradok is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. Yeah, because this place is going to be wiped out and everything in it. The idol worship, you know, the statues, the buildings, the cars, the people, everything is going to be melted. It says, for out of the north, there cometh up a nation against her. And this north is talking about Russia. All right, which is going to be, a, you know, a primary uh, individual, so to say, our primary country that's going to be used to take out this place, America. All right. It says, for out of the north, there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate 
and none shall dwell therein. All right, that's how bad this destruction is going to be. Everybody, everything is going to be wiped off of the, this this place, man. America is going to be 100% engulfed in flames, man. All the monuments, all the statues, the buildings, everything is going to be taken down, man. All right, and the Lord's going to use Russia. That's why Russia is stocking up on all these nukes. You see Russia and China linking up together. You know, hey, we about to enter into World War III. All right, so now is not the time to be, uh, you know, ice cold or lukewarm. Now is the time to be on fire for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, They shall remove, they shall depart, both man and beast. In those days and in that time, saith Yahweh, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping, they shall go and seek Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Jumping to verse 9, Jeremiah 59, for lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. Going into Russia, and it said, I will raise. So the Lord is going to raise these nations up to come against America, man. See, this is all the will of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah being done. All right, it says, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken, their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man, none shall return in vain, right? And these arrows uh, are the ICBMs, the Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles, all right? The, when Jeremiah was seeing his vision, he's seeing the, the ICBMs and he describes them as arrows, all right? But, uh, you know, in Second Ezra, it tells you that these arrows are going to be shot from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth, man. Right, and Babylon is going to be taken by all these other nations that are stocking up on nukes, and they're going to shoot them at America, man. It's Bible prophecy. All right, the final judgment. Judgment day is fastly approaching, man. It's not going to be a pretty day. It's going to be a dark and gloomy day. All right. Jeremiah 50 and 14. Actually, Jeremiah 50... And 13, it says, because of the wrath of Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited. See, these nuclear weapons, they are a gift from Yahweh, man. Because they're going to be used to destroy this place. They're going to be used to let out the fierce wrath of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, his indignation, man. That's what's in these, these nuclear weapons, man. The fierce anger of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man. It's going to literally cause a lake of fire. It says, because of the wrath of Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited. What? America. Amer After America is hit with these nukes, this place ain't going to be inhabited. It's going to be a desolate wilderness, man. Literally a wilderness. A desert. But it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. So it's going to be like, you know, a shaking of your head. Every time, yeah, even, you know, in the kingdom of heaven, America is going to, you know, Babylon, Mystery Babylon the Great, going to be a monument, you know, of uh, an example of what happens to a wicked kingdom, man. It says, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All you that bend the bow, shoot at her. Meaning everybody that has nuclear weapons, shoot at her. Shoot at America. Spare no arrows. So there's going to be not one ICBM that's going to be spared. You know, they ain't going to have just one ICBM that they're going to hang up and say, you know, we're going to keep this one for the future. Not every single ICBM is going to be shot off and it's going to be shot. It's going to hit America, man. All right. And one, hey, the nuclear missile can get hotter than the sun, man. So it's like the Lord going to drop a sun on America, man. 200,000, 000, 200 million. It says, for she has sinned against Yahweh, right? She has sinned against Yahweh. Verse 22, a sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. That's what's coming, man. Great destruction to this land of mystery Babylon the Great. It says... Jeremiah 50 and 39, therefore the wild beast of the desert, 
with the wild beasts of the islands shall dwell there. Or right, you're going to have different land animals, desert animals. It says, and the owls shall dwell therein, and it shall no more be inhabited forever. So after this judgment, judgment day, the lake of fire, this place, this land that we're on right now is uh, in America is not going to be inhabited ever again. Okay, it's going to be a, a burnt sacrifice and a monument. It says, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. As God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Yahweh, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. All right, it says, behold, a people shall come, come from the north, all right, Russia, and a great nation and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. They shall hold the bow and the lance. They are cruel and will not show mercy. So the Lord is going to raise these kings of the earth up to not show any mercy on America, man. As America has done to these other nations, it's going to be done unto America. It says, Their voice shall roar like the sea, and they shall hide, ride upon horses, every one put in array, like a man to the battle against the O daughter of Babylon. And what's the daughter of Babylon? America. The Lord going to cause all these nations to come up against America, man. And this is the judgments of the Lord. Luke 12 and 49, I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? So the Lord's coming to send fire on this earth. But by the time the Lord get back, it's already going to be set in flames, man. All right. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 1. It says, Thus saith Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon, or America, and against them that dwell in the midst of them, that rise up against me a destroying wind. So the Lord's going to raise up against Babylon, and he's going to raise a destroying wind. And the, the, the destroying wind is coming from them ICBMs. When they... When the nuclear missile is hit this place, it's going to cause a destroying wind. All right. Oh, uh, imagine just a, a wind of hot fire coming directly at you. It says, and I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. So all these nations are going to be against America. And they're going to destroy this place. All right? This is uh, Jeremiah 51. In verse... Three, it says, against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. And everybody that got those ICBMs, get ready to shoot him. And against him that lifteth himself up in his uh, brigandine, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. And that's going to be the destruction of America, man. All right, the Lord's going to have these weapons shot off, and it's going to create a lake of fire. All right, America's going to be in a lake of fire. All right. So yeah, nuclear weapons are a gift from Yahweh, ready to be used on the West, claims Putin's mouthpiece. So hey, these devils know what's up, man. And we're we're fastly approaching that day where they're gonna press them buttons, man. But we're looking for one major prophecy first, which is the MOTB. Which that could that could happen this year, man. You know, Lord willing it does. You know, we just wait impatiently for that day, and when that comes out, everything is gonna speed up, man. The war is gonna increase. Pestilence, you know, famines, all of that stuff's gonna take place, man. All right, so with that, call hello, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, it was edifying to the hopeful elect. Till next time I say, Shalom.